Hey everybody, back with a new episode of Babylon 5. Last episode, Dr. Franklin got a new position on Earth and is going to be leaving at the end of the year, which is good because it's a promotion for, you know, it's good for him. But uh, Sheridan will miss him, we will miss him. I just hope it happens after the show's over. I feel like that might be what is happening. We're slowly getting what their ending is going to be. Um, we know who the attacks are. It's the Centauri. They don't know, like, the ins and outs of it. Um, they think it's one of the factions on Centauri Prime. Little do they know that this is another race that's attached itself. Um, but they're keeping Londo out of the loop so he doesn't get himself in danger. So I wonder what they're going to do without him knowing. Uh, Jakar is now a very prominent religious leader after his book got dispersed. And, you know, of course, he's handling it well after, you know, a little bit of a freak out. Um, he's definitely the one to do that, to be that voice for those people because he has so much wisdom now. So that was really nice to see. Um, this next episode, ugh. It's uh, Cora's mother, Cora's father. God, are we getting more fucking bester? They better be trying to bring Psychor down. I, I, I do wonder, like, just how bad, how badly the that bombing affected them. That was like their headquarters and everything. So I wonder if they're reeling or they're trying to retaliate. I, I don't, I don't, I don't know but I'm sure we're gonna see Buster, so let's get into it. This is Al Buster, the one I was telling you about. It's an honor. I've followed you for yeah, years. Yeah, so maybe it wasn't their main headquarters. So you're the hit. one that's been peeking in my window at night. No, 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 I meant I've been following your work. I didn't mean I was just playing chat. I've been following the situation on Babylon 5 as best I could for a while now. They really made it an unfriendly place for us, haven't they? That's why you don't see many of us up there. There's always somebody or something trying to be the most important thing in the world. You would know. No, much as it might offend their sense of perspective, not everything is about Babylon 5. <laughs> you can't hide from me too long. You can't hide. I told you it was my mind. I told you it was my mind. You listen. You listen here. I told you. Uh -uh. You don't listen. You don't hear me. I keep telling you the same thing. <laughs> my mind. Not yours. Is this whole episode going to be just to focus on Psychor? Oh, my. There isn't a human telepath alive who can sustain a deep scan for more than 40, 45 minutes tops. Whoa, what a visualization. That is so creepy. Your job is to track down rogue telepaths who will do anything to avoid capture. If they can hurt you or kill you, they will. Our mandate is to bring them back alive and intact so we can help put them back on track. Not that they appreciate it. That's where you're wrong. You may not think it to look at me, but six months ago, I was a blip. I could barely stand on my own when the Corps found me and brought me home. Did you know it's that 42.5% of all telepaths who leave the Corps commit suicide within nine months? Because you won't leave True. them alone. Without the support of other telepaths thrown into a world of mundanes, End we... program. I'm assigning you to the case, Al. Find him, bring him back. Why me? Because he's a P-10 and that makes him dangerous. And because the victim was close to you. Do you get used to it? When it's one of ours? No. With mundanes, it's easier. They hate it when we say that. But it's the truth. You should go back to your room. Uh, yes. Or I could stay here. Early pop, go. Lauren. You're a very sweet young woman, but my heart is already taken. The security log at Earthport One has our suspect booking passage on an outbound commercial transport about an hour after the time of death. Destination. Your favorite place in the universe. Babylon 5. Babylon 5. If he boarded a commercial transport, why not just contact the ship and let their own security force pick him up? Mundanes. Without sufficient training, the average security patrol couldn't even handle a P-8, let alone a P-10. 
There are any number of tricks he could use on mundanes to avoid being it captured. It doesn't really seem with it, though. How's he going to be inconspicuous? Once he goes to ground, we may never pick up the scent again. The suspect was also being trained in attack probes. He has a knack for disrupting other telepaths. Mm. He's a mind shredder, Al. Mind shredder? Let him get too close. Let him get a clear shot. And he'll rip you in two. Why'd you do it? <laughs> because I could. Oh, it's all right. Was it just you an am? episode? Me? Does the mothership ever leave hyperspace? Only for repairs, when we can do so without being seen. No reason for the rest of the world to know what our resources are. The rest of the time, it just sits here in hyperspace. For months at a time, carrying missions back and forth and waiting until we need it. Well, it's been a real pleasure doing business with you. <laughs> I'm cleaned up. Guess it wasn't quite as hard as I'd heard. <laughs> no. Man, how can the tension be? Passengers transferred. He needs to get gone. Don't you ever go away? That's what Don't I'm saying. Enough trouble for one lifetime. It's a pleasure to see you too, Mr. Allen. The struggle between mundanes and telepaths will be no struggle at all. Come on, you got work to do. You're so superior. I don't know how you cheated back there. All I know is that you did. And you're going to give me my money back. All of it. I don't know what you're talking about. I said I want my money back. I don't think you want to do this, man. Uh-oh. You don't want to get him upset. You shouldn't do that. You're gonna get him upset! I'll get you a hell of a lot more than upset you, son of a- It's a friendly or something? Uh-oh. Keep an eye on the door. If he comes out, follow him. But don't try to take him down. Call him for backup. I'll be here in a second. Understood. I can't believe you brought these two newbies. He said don't take him down. I'm not. But if we can get him while he's still asleep or unguarded, we'll have the benefit of surprise. We can get... You're not prepared, man. We can get the credit for the arrest. You're disobeying instructions. I'm showing initiative. Tim! Uh-oh. <gasps> yeah, I'm so not prepared for this. Thing is, I can't see any connection between your target and the deceased. So why'd you pick him to kill? Probably just random chance. Well, Mr. Bester, you're now two for two. We just had another dead body show up in Med Lab One. How do you know our suspect is responsible? Just a hunch. Our suspect is a P10. This kind of damage can only be done by a P12. Well. Are you sure? Well, I, I just mean, you know. Maybe you made a mistake. Maybe a he killed a P-12? Higher than a P-10. And, and acquired his abilities? No, we don't make those kinds of mistakes. I seen a naked back bar once. There he is. on their back? It's not a hump at all. That's their Thank you. I think uh, I what was he about to say? Stand by. Uh. Oh, you? trying to ID that tattoo right now. That's not Harris. Well, okay. But if that's true, who stabbed him? Good question. 48, 49, 50. That's my 10%. Can I uh, ask you, uh, what are you running from? I don't know what happened. I'm not even sure why I'm here. One minute, I was in the testing center. The Someone's next... hitched a ride. I don't remember. There's a lot in here that's in different handwriting, different names. As if they'd either mixed two files together or somebody else had access to his papers. Well, maybe one of those names is the guy with the tattoo. If only there was some way we could record thought patterns. We know what was going on. Give us time. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, she'll definitely go there. John, are you okay? Just let it go, okay? I've done anything to upset you. He said, let it he go. He said. Not I said. He said. The same person. 
with multiple personalities. Oh, this gets a pretty That's why we misidentified his rating. One personality was a P10. Oh, the shit. The other was a P12. It's rare, but it has happened before. Something in the training session we saw must have triggered it. And his roommate saw one of the other personalities. That's why he was killed. One of those personalities murdered him to keep the secret. Because unstable telepaths are put away for the good of everyone. Check these names against the station manifest. See if he checked in on one of his other personalities. Or not schizophrenia. It's a DID. Dissociative Identity Disorder. Hold your fire! Listen to me. We know about your situation. We know what your roommate discovered. It's okay. We can help you. But you have to trust us. No, you're Let gonna us take kill you back it. With us. No! I won't go back! Yes, you can. Together. You would think that's something that they could cogni cognitively work with, especially being. Come on, let's go. Get up. Like, how about Like, you feel like they could, like, merge their personality. Don't hurt him. Well, with a little nudge from back home, security has agreed to recognize our authority and turn them both over to our custody. They'll be sedated to make the transfer easier. You know, Chen thought you were a hero. To tell you the truth, I wasn't sure if I still believed in heroes. But I have never seen anyone fight for our people the way you do. They just dropped him out? Fucking hell. Well, you made it past the first stage. You just might be psycho material after all. Yeah, sounds like. That poor kid, they're not going to help him. They're going to remove him or it, experiment on him or do something awful whatever it is that they do because they are awful or awful and it's not because they're telepaths it's because they're fucking cops and bester oh if he survives the show and be so mad he needs to fucking die i hate him and that girl out of control she's gonna be just like him so that sucks um, you know, I guess it's a cool idea to have something pretty much from their perspective, but it didn't teach me anything. I didn't already know about how awful Psychor is. Um, it was fun to actually get to go to Babylon 5, but, you know, it being like multiple personalities, I guess it's kind of interesting, but this felt pretty lackluster in terms of, in terms of just like, an episode overall maybe it's just because i hate bester so much but i don't think i learned anything about psychor that i didn't already know so it is what it is i just feel bad for that kid because i mean there is a part of him that is very violent but he needs help and not whatever it is they're gonna do so just an unfortunate thing but yeah, not any closer to shutting down Psychor or investigating. You you see how they were talking about like, oh, we don't we don't want any big kerfuffles. We don't want anybody to investigate them. I mean, I guess Buster does care about his people, but to a point, you know, he got that. He shouldn't have took those kids in the first place. And the one kid got killed. That was unnecessary. He doesn't, like, really care about the one to, like, rail against Psychor and everything. They'll want to, like, reprogram them. But they don't actually care about them. They just care about Cora's mother, Cora's father. Fuck that. So, this was not that enjoyable, I have to say. And, uh, you know, and, and happily, that was pretty awful what they did to that guy, even though, you know, he was running a scheme. But death? Fucking hell. They don't care about Mondays at all. I can't believe they let them take him. I mean, I I guess there's like, oh, they're taking him back to Earth. But like, Psychor is hateful. Do they not know that by now? 
I don't know. That was a bummer. Bummer. I hate Buster and I wish nothing but terrible, terrible things for him. So I guess the one good thing is that he didn't take advantage of that girl because you know, she's like way younger and like she's got hard eyes. But oh, and you would think, oh, well, once she learned the real truth about him, she'd run the other direction. But I don't know about her. I think she'd be like even more into it, which is very unfortunate. But mm, 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 fuck Psychor. So thanks for watching, guys. I'll be back soon.